So this is a quick video on antibody structure for those of you that needed a little bit of extra help. So antibodies are Y-shaped proteins. made up of heavy chains, which are shown here in blue, and light chains. At the tip of the Y-shaped protein is what we call the FAB, or the variable region. This is the region that is responsible for binding to the antigen. So this is the region that will recognize specifically the antigen from the bacteria, from the virus, from whatever, whatever pathogen has invaded the body. The lower portion of the antibody is the FC, or the constant region. And this is responsible for determining the class type. The classes of the antibody are the IgM, IgD, etc. And the particular class type determines the response to the antigen. So these regions can be modified. You can modify the antigen binding region through hypermutation. So as the plasma cells produce clones of new antibodies, you can have, through genetic recombination, further mutation of the antigen binding sites. That can potentially increase the specificity for the antigen. If it does that, it will bind more often to the antigen that it is exposed to and it will be retained. If it instead decreases specificity and there is little antigen binding, then that will be downregulated. We can also modify the constant portion of the antibody, and that is through class switching. So in this case, you would retain the antigen binding sites, so you still have specificity for the antigen, but you would switch from, say, an IgM to a different class, say, an IgG, by swapping out portions of the FC region. In that case, you can uh, respond differently to the same antigen based on the antibody class. There is a summary of the antibody classes on slide 69 of your lecture PowerPoints. IgM is uh, secreted early in the primary response. It stays on the B cell and acts as a B cell receptor for the antigen. IgDs also stay on the B, B cell and act as B cell receptors and are um, produced early in the response. IgGs are the most common and they are secreted in response to most antigens in the body. IgE is secreted mostly in response to parasitic worms and in allergy. IgA is found in the mucous membranes. All of these are made by plasma cells after B cells are activated when they find their antigens specific, specific within the body. Alright guys, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.